In this video, we're going to talk about cutting out a sector of a circle, folding this up to create a cone, and we're going to find the maximum capacity of such a cone. So if you connect these two edges now that we've cut out a sector, in this case of radius 4, you get a three-dimensional figure that will be a cone. Now one of the key things we want to look at here is the relationship between the two. So this would be the cone, and now this side corresponds to right here. So we know that that slant height is 4. Now if we want to maximize the volume of a cone, first thing we need is the formula for a volume of a cone, which is 1 third pi r squared h. Now, the second thing we want to do is get this in terms of one variable. Well, notice that we have that being 4. If we drop in <coughs> the radius and the height of our cone here, we see a nice little Pythagorean identity that h squared plus r squared equals 4 squared, or that r squared equals 16 minus h squared. We're going to apply that to here. We're going to substitute for the r squared. We get 1 third pi times 16 minus h squared times h. We're taking it one more step. I'm just going to write this as pi over 3 times 16h minus h cubed. So let's see what happens when we take the derivative. Now pi over 3 is just a constant. And then we'll take the derivative piece by piece. Derivative of 16h is 16. Derivative of h cubed is 3h squared. And we set that to 0. This is the only piece that can be 0. So that's going to happen when 16 equals 3h squared. Or when h equals the square root of 16 thirds. Or if we want 4 over square root of 3. Now, let's check and see with our second derivative test if that's a max or a min. Well, this is just going to be negative 6h, so as long as h is positive, the second derivative is going to be less than 0. Concave down, that's, that's going to give us a maximum. So we're good there. So now let's evaluate our volume at this point. So right here, our volume is pi over 3, 16 times 4 over rad 3, minus 4 over rad 3 cubed. And we'll simplify this a little bit. So we have pi over 3. We have 64 over rad 3 here. Now these are both getting cubed. 4 cubed is also 64. But this is rad 3 times rad 3 times rad 3. Well, rad 3 times rad 3 is 3 times another rad 3. So we have 3 rad 3. So if we give these a common denominator of 3 rad 3, 3 times 164 is 192. So what we're going to get is pi over 3 times 128 over 3 rad 3. Or simplifying it a little bit, we get um, 128 pi over 9 rad 3, and this is going to be in whatever our units are cubed, and there's our maximum volume of the cup. 